Hey everybody! Hey everybody! So in the previous video we mentioned that we're probably most likely going to be moving to back to Colorado from up here in beautiful British Columbia <laughs> in January and everybody has seen what winter is like this year so yeah. that So, so here's what we're thinking, right? Yeah. Because we're heading down to Colorado from the island of Vancouver. Down here is Denver. So we're looking at like more summery routes that would get us there. But it's like 1,100 miles more than going directly through the mountains and all this. So that's like step one. The other thing is... Uh, we're considering then going back to work and if that materializes then that would be in Albuquerque. So now the question becomes where are we going first, what route and what makes sense. So we have all the calculation of the mileage and we're kind of not going to know until just before we leave. I mean like a week before if we can see if there's a a break in the weather? A break in the weather? Well, yeah, it all depends on, you know, if there's another big massive winter storm like it's going on right now, we aren't going to want to drive a truck, a U-Haul truck hauling our tiny home on wheels <laughs> through that and it'll be worth it to go, you know, take a, the California route and, you know, and enjoy the ride a little bit more. And if you look at the map here, <laughs> yeah. oh my God, why are there lines that are there? This is an important part that we didn't talk about before. Before I go back to work, we have to go to Montreal to get Annie's personal belongings that she's had in storage for the last... 13 years, 13 I think it's years. been there. Yeah. So and also to go see my mom. And go, yeah. So we have to go all the way up to Montreal and then drive stuff back to wherever we're going to be in either Denver or Albuquerque or somewhere in New Mexico. Another U-Haul ride. And my son and my <laughs> grandchildren live down here in Florida. And I haven't hugged them in five years with the whole moving to Colorado thing for a couple of years. Just as we were planning to, we had scheduled, I think we were actually looking at flights and we were on our way. And COVID hit and everything stopped. And then now it's, you know, a couple of years of all this and then me getting sick and all of that stuff. It has pushed back us mm. being able to go to Florida to hug them. I haven't hugged my son and my grandkids in, in over five, five years, years now. Yeah. So, And I'm, before that, you had a concussion that was preventing travel because it had affected them quite a bit. It's, it's just all of these things. One thing after another has kept us from doing that. So before... I settle into a job and then have to ask them a couple of months down the road, hey man, let me take a couple of weeks off, go see my family. We're going to try to do all of this stuff within the next couple of months. And, of course, a big part of the, you know, anti-cancer lifestyle is to, you know, eat right and reduce stress. <laughs> And part of reducing stress, you know, is to take it easy to, to, to a large extent. Mm -hmm. And as scary as all of this would seem to most people, the driving part, yeah, the driving part isn't scary to me at all. I was over the road truck driver. I've driven back and forth across the continent several, several times. And the mileage doesn't intimidate me at all. Doing it in the middle of winter, January, February, March... That adds to some of the complication that, you know, that we're yeah. going to have to face. And it's also like when we came here and all the move of trying the tiny house, it's nutrition. Yeah. Nutrition is the key to keeping Dan alive. And all this travel makes it really hard to do this. And I'm allergic to canola oil. So when we're on the road, I cannot eat anything in restaurants or even packaged nuts and everything is canola. It's 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 an it's added challenges right, right. and that we have to be careful about. Is that what I would choose? You know, I have I have this <laughs> I have this nice imagery. If I had a buffet with all the options 
offered to me of how I would like us to spend the next two or three months, would I pick that and put this in my plate? No. Probably no. not. I know not. And so, you know, it's not, it's not a, let's put it this way. It's really scary. It feels like it's kind of going against what we're trying to do. The rest, the no stress, eating right and settling down for a year and all that. But at the same time, with what you watched in the previous video, we have to move to the U.S. to sell Dan's life insurance to get us through because we are running out of money, very close. So a lot of this, we don't have a choice or we don't like the consequences of those well, choices. Well, it's just our, our hands being forced, you know, to, to a pretty big extent. But as usual, when we're faced with big things, it's also a choice and we always try to choose to look at it in a positive way. Mm -hmm. So not 100% of the time, I think it's last night or the night before, I had a little wave of fear and panic about mm -hmm. it. And they, you know, I expect them to come in and out of my being in the, while it's happening and in preparation. But we are going to try to make it a positive experience, something Absolutely. joyful, exciting, adventurous, like seriously, like, Big adventure, <laughs> not knowing where we're going to live, having to show up and figure out another Airbnb and whether it's Denver first, Albuquerque first, all this is going to happen and be decided pretty much like on the fly. On yeah. the fly. Yeah. So first choice, no. But given that, it's that lemon and lemonade kind of thing, right? We will we'll drink it, it as a savory, delicious lemonade. And sometimes I'll just like go, Oh my God, this is sour. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, we're going to take it as an adventure and we're going to share it with you guys. I was going to say, we're going to bring you along. So, so that's what's coming up for us. Woohoo! <laughs> 2023, here we come. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be awesome. Okay. All right. All right. Love you, folks. Bye. See you.